We're standing in front of the uh, what we call the intake structure, the headworks of the treatment plant. This is where the wastewater comes from almost 5,000 customers in, in Clinton, surrounding areas, and in the community of Claxton. 46 pump stations and gravity flow sewers bring all of the wastewater to this one location. We have one treatment plant. That's actually a regional treatment plant. We also receive wastewater from Anderson County Water Authority uh, as customers up north of I-75 all the way to the marinas up at the lake. Uh, all of those communities send their wastewater down to this area. When it comes into the Headworks facility, we've got several processes going on. We've got screening to remove the things that come in, the floating rags and debris that comes into the wastewater. Uh, the first section here is also the grit chamber where the grit settles out any sand or, or bone fragments or glass or whatever settles out and is removed. And we've got a grease removal and as the grease floats we aerate it and the grease floats and the grease is drawn off also. What goes on into the treatment process would be uh, somewhat clarified water as it goes, makes its way to the primary clarifiers for further settling. Okay, what we have here is, is a fat or a tank that we call a digester. And it's doing exactly what its name says. It's digesting the solids or the sludge that's thrown off of the bottom of the basin. And you can see the activity, the little bubbles that keep coming to the surface. That is the microbiological activity that's going on that's breaking down the organic matter into an inert substance that settles to the bottom. And once that settles to the bottom, it's drawn off. And we actually uh, press that, treat it, and press it into a cake, a dry cake, and it's hauled off and taken to the landfill for disposal. What we're standing in front of here is what we call the uh, chlorine contact basin. And the chlorine contact basin is the last uh, treatment process in the wastewater treatment plant. We add chlorine to the to the waters it comes through. It's in contact for several minutes before it's discharged and the chlorine actually removes the, the last bit of bacteria and microorganisms that's in the wastewater. And then so because we don't want chlorinated effluent we also add sulfur dioxide which neutralizes the chlorine so that the water going into the river is typically better than the water that's in the river at the time.